Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup. They sit a while, they pass, they slip away across the universe. Jaguru, Dave, oh, nothing's gonna change my world. 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 Jaguru, Dave, oh, bravo! Oh, I feel so good. <laughs> That, that feels really good, listening yeah. to John Lennon's songs. People like it. Yeah, You know, be, even though as a child he was very angry, probably because of the loss of his mother and father, mm -hmm. who basically gave him away. They, he even has a song, Mother, you had me, but I never had you. <laughs> Mama, don't go, daddy, come home. So he sings about <laughs> it, you know, in therapy later on, but... Um, Tim, in check cards, um, in chumner John Lennon, him, which has gained a job with Angachnika. I think he needed love <laughs> because he never felt he had it as a child. And when you're missing something in your life, you do extraordinary things to obtain that. Um, and then, you know, once you get the fame and the fortune, I don't know, I've never had the fame and the fortune. I do all right. <laughs> Not like you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think once you have all the money in the world and everything at your feet, you realize that it's not that that's going to make you feel better. It's how you feel about yourself. Coming to terms with the fact of this was his destiny, this was his karma that he had to work out. I mean, that was his message, you know. And, and John had a lot to learn, too. Northern England, Liverpool, as, and as I said earlier, I was there. Very tough town. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't survive, you know, if you're different. You, you know, you're a hard work, blue collar worker. Mm -hmm. And the Beatles had to have this tough exterior t to survive. You, w when you're growing up back then, you're a little macho. Even to the women, sometimes they were macho. <laughs> and it wasn't until he met Yoko that she turned around and she said, no, you don't. Mm -hmm. And she taught him what we called back in the 80s, feminism. Yes. John ended up raising Sean, his second son. And he loved raising Sean. You know, he stayed home and baked, baked bread and did the whole mm -hmm. thing. And, but he also learned that um, about women's rights and women's equality through a very strong woman. I think that's what he found in Yoko was someone that could teach him, you know, it's, you, you, so what, you're a big rock star, you know, you, <laughs> you're just a guy mm -hmm. and I'm a girl, but we're equal. Yeah. And he learned that and I think he tried to bring this to everyone's thinking. Through performing, and then as life happens, I had a son. Mm -hmm. So it was a wonderful vehicle, opportunity to show my son what I learned through my life, what inspired me, and how I utilize this talent, this show, to meet people literally around the world and get to interact with them and learn from them and teach them things at the same time. My son is a very wise young man mm -hmm. <laughs> and through his father, I, my hope and my desire is that he sees the success but he also sees the failures and everything that makes it work or doesn't work and he gets to feel it with me and we have a saying between each other which is gonna make it <laughs> gonna make it you know That's no matter awesome. what and he's usually right but we get to share the humor 
we get to share the sadness we get to share the people's reactions his father's success uh, he's been with me in the Caribbean he's been with me in Canada you know he's been with me in Chile mm -hmm. so I get to travel with him and he sees what dad does for a living even though he knows I'm not John Lennon we joke about that you know you can't <laughs> be another person but to be able to evoke a spirit where it becomes familiar to people and then when he watches people come up and talk to me and tell me their whole lives he calls me the weirdo whisperer <laughs> <laughs> but anyways I think it's a good thing I think I'm fortunate to be able to have this position and I'm sure he enjoys music a bit he loves right? Beatles music oh, that's thank perfect thank goodness <laughs> <laughs> that's good yes he does Vera Darnalov show in Mikani Terekatvakan Hartzer Kanarking Kani show yek tera groom yef arachin show on voreline lue John Lennon it's an anzian or Artsyok Tarber Velue Musneritz. October 9th, number nine, number nine, mm -hmm. is John Lennon's birthday. And he was born in 1940, so let's do the math. He'd be 74 oh. if he was alive. Mm -hmm. You know, I just saw Ringo mm -hmm. on Robertson and Melrose oh, yeah? yesterday, <laughs> playing with Joe Walsh, mm -hmm. Rocky Mountain Way, <laughs> and other people. He did a show for free, for peace and love. Nice. Just on the street. Um, I think the Beatles music will last forever they like Frank Sinatra like Elvis they will last forever because they were unique and different and the message was really love and that's what Ringo was saying peace and love peace <laughs> and love everybody <laughs> and uh, it's sad that John was taken away from us at 40 years old imagine what he might have still given to the world but in memory and, and out of respect, I do the show for the music that I loved as a child, and now I get to relay that and uh, repeat it for those that are still here, and hopefully they enjoy it. So we're playing on the weekends mm -hmm. through October. Hopefully we'll get to extend that, but for now we've got nine shows starting October 9, John's 74th birthday. Beautiful. It was such a pleasure interviewing you and having you here on the show. Thank you very Your much. Highness. <laughs> Thank you very much and good luck on the Thank you very much. future projects. Havel al terekutsun neri hamar norits kerknem karoge kaitselel website kam zangaharel show nere tutsa dervelu en urpat shapat kira ki orerin e artien tatronomi va iskanov men kavar tank mera isorvat ragira lavierek kahande pen kajor tan kam stesis.